What we saying, man? What we saying? Listen, listen. Jamie Mungile, 29 fights, 29 wins, undefeated, 25 by knockout. He's coming with 86% power. Liam Smith, 26, 1 and 1, 14 knockouts, and he's working with 50% power. From here, we can see. Jamie Mungil is working with much more power than Liam Smith. He's also had more fights. And he's looking good. I give Jamie Mungili the advantage. Next up, Jamie Mungili is 21 years old. He's been pro for five years. He's an orthodox fighter. He stands at six foot with 183 reach, which is very, very unusual for a Mexican fighter to have such a big reach. I've never known a Mexican fighter to have such a huge reach. Anyway, Liam Smith, he's 29 years old. He's been pro for nearly 10 years. He's an orthodox fighter as well. He stands at five foot, nine and a half, and he's got a reach of 176. So from here we can see, Jamie Mungil is the younger lad, but he's only been fighting half, half as long. Jamie's younger by eight years. Also, Jamie's the bigger fighter. He stands at six foot. He's got 183 reach. Well, Liam Smith's only five foot nine and 176 reach. He's got like a seven inch reach advantage. That's crazy. Well, from there, it's obvious that but what we can say is Liam Smith is not an old fighter or past his prime. He's only 29 years old. And Jamie Mungil is only 21 years old, so he's only he's only a kid, you know. Let's get into their last three opponents. Let's start with Liam Smith. So after he had um, after he fought Canelo, he lost to Canelo. He came back and fought a shit tune up against some guy with a rubbish record, and then he had the two fights with Liam Williams, who was undefeated fighter, and he beat him both times. First time he beat him in the ninth round, RTD. That's like when he gets um, stopped by the corner, and the second fight went 12 rounds, and he beat him in a 12th round unanimous decision. So, after the Canelo fight, not really much happened, you know. And Jamie Mungile, his last three opponents, Carlos Pez, knocked him out in round three by KO. You know, when he knocked him out old. Johnny Vares knocked him out cold in the third round. And his last opponent, Saddam Ali. Knocked him out in four uh, TKO win in the fourth round. So, not really. I don't know the first two people, but we know Saddam Ali. And that win was a big win. Just he, he came out of nowhere and just walked through Saddam Ali, and you know, we know Saddam Ali's only other loss was to Jesse Vargas, and. He made a good comeback from that when he fought Miguel Cotto and beat Miguel Cotto and became champion at 154. And then for this kid to just come out of nowhere and just absolutely destroy him, you know, it was a big statement. On the other side, um, they have, um, that's about it, you know. Let me get into my prediction, man. I don't want to waste people's time in that. My prediction, Jamie Mungile. I believe Jamie Mungile will stop him in. I don't think this fight is going past six rounds. Jamie Mungile will stop this guy in six rounds. I'm sorry to say it. I like Liam Smith. He's a good fighter, but he's not going past six rounds. Simple as that. This kid's a beast. He's an absolute beast, in my opinion. He's. 
I think I can see him beating much top bigger guys than much better guys than Liam Smith. He's a bigger, you know, he's the bigger lad. He's got more power. He's got power in both hands. He's not really slow. He's got good footwork. He's got a good. Chin. He's Mexican, so he must have a good chin. I've seen him walking through people's shots, so he just walks through his people's shots, and he's got a good chin. I, I think he's got a good chin. I've seen some people say, "Oh, we don't know what chin he's got," but I think he's got a good chin. And the, the guy can box. Jamie Mungili can actually box as well. Like, he's not like a usual Mexican fighter. He's, he's a beast, he's different, I don't know. But don't get it twisted, listen, don't get it twisted, people. Yeah? Liam Smith, he's coming to fight. He's a British fighter. He's got a British heart. And he's, he's coming to lay it all on the line, all or nothing. So I know... This fight should be fireworks. This fight should be a good fight. This is why I'm looking forward to this fight. And as long as the, the fight lasts, it's going to be fireworks. I just hope um, Liam Smith don't fight his normal style. You know, where he pushes his guard up, stands there, leans forward and comes forward and tries to mix it up on the inside. Because when he does that, he's just going to get the shit beat out of him. He needs to, like, try and box. He needs to try and do the... Mayweather, Mayweather on this guy. Liam Smith needs to be Mayweather on this guy, I'm telling you. This guy is a beast. That's the only way I see Liam Smith winning. Uh, I don't see Liam Smith fighting anything like Mayweather. He only knows how to like come forward, high guard, stand there, take shots on the gloves, and then let shots go. That's not going to work against this kid who's twice his size and who's an absolute monster with power in both hands. That's crazy. That's the only advice I could give to um, <laughs> Liam Smith, man. You know, I'm not perfect at this. I'm not, I don't know exactly. Um, I get it wrong. There's a lot of good points that I probably would have missed out as well. That I did miss out. That I can't think of. But that's my prediction, man. I'm going with Jamie Mungie there. I don't see the fight going past six rounds. But the fight's going to be a good one. So make sure everybody tunes into that. It's on the 21st of July, so it's only like three weeks away. So I'm getting my prediction in. That's it from me, Kingdom of Boxing, yeah? Peace, family, I'm gone.